Here we go, this is the desktop version of the Google Maps Aerial 2D, 3D intelligence thing. A couple of days ago the one is uh, what I made on screen which talks through the differences in these aerial images. The best way to deal with this quite honestly is to get stuck into the desktop version because it's slightly different. So let's start again. What you see now on screen is an area that is being built. It is a little shopping centre and a load of houses. So far Google is opening up its maps on top left 3D satellite on. So what we're finding is although the um, three dimension is pretty decent it's not very up to date and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I go back to 2D remember this is Windows 10 desktop and I'm going to turn off the 3D. Wait for the reload and you see that what actually happens is that we've got an image which yes fair enough it's in 2D and I can't make it 3D but is it is more up to date. So if you look what we've got here is a Sainsbury's local notice the little map pop-ups Domino's pizza that's a terrible picture isn't it? Costa coffee that sort of thing. If I go back look top left very small 3D on same thing with the Google Place labels but we've got a load of dirt so what we do is achieve this by staying in one URL of Google Maps notice that if I turn terrain off then I lose immediately let's see what's happened here yet yeah, terrain look if I go back okay fair enough so if I've come to um, yeah, now that's all I've got to say about that. What I will want to say is one other thing before I go over to Google Earth very quickly. So it's very easy. Once you know it, you can find it. Menu top left, 3D on, 3D off. What you also notice, if I go straight to the map on its own, you have got an outline of these new areas. Remember, as I said before, this is the UK. I've tried it in America. I've tried it in France. These are different places. The roads are on there. If I go to terrain... The roads are on there again. If I go to satellite and it remember in my connection it loads as 3D with labels on. What's that when I turn that off? Oh yeah I, I see so the Google Place labels are on. That's it. Nothing else to say. The only thing that it leads to is because we are on a Windows 10 machine and I'm also a Google Earth Pro new use user thing meaning that I've gone in here to the version 731 etc and what that means is that I've got a little um, piece of hand there which you'll notice very very nicely that I can move around I'm thinking oh my god this is so great but the thing is what I'm moving around and if I go up to the top here to make a picture to save which is automatically so let's say a maximum of 4800 pixels what I'm actually saving is something that is old so it's uh, not the newer 3D version which leads to something else and what that means is that if I go in here to um, the elements I've got a new HTML box and things on it notice also the image that I can go over to a full color I can go to a desaturated color look at the green at the bottom after about five seconds and it will go to a very flat desaturated which is really good uh, if you're going to throw a load of colorful graphics over the top and then one more click over we go to the black and white so I'm leading on to another video about these text labels and I don't really know why but what we can find is yeah here we go look I've got a draggable thing going on here where I've got this is new to Google Earth that I've seen in that I can drag around in this version and make legends, titles and things. Now in the next video I make in a few moments I'm going to look at this in depth and you can notice that you can drag them around. Anyway, the point of this was to say it's about intelligence on aerial images and you can see that we've got something here. Okay, good luck with that.